mad at this. Anyway. I'm not mad at you. Yeah, definitely not mad at you right here. Not going to be mad at this next set either. Not at all. Smashville coming up. For you guys, we have Mr. E. Once again, Mr. E and Mekos versus Starbase and JJ Rockets. Shout out to that shine transition, by the way. That's really nice. Starbase to fruit. Wow. Okay, that's a long name. <laughs> that is a long name. Jesus. <laughs> All right, guys. This could be a long set. We'll see. Four incredibly talented players on screen right now. It's like Starbase fruit. Is that like just like a better version of like a Starburst? Like, anyway. <laughs> Dang, I actually don't know. <laughs> Oh and so, like, what I just, oh, oh the reverse tipper right there. And he finishes him at 86. And he picked that off of a four there from Mecco. Oh, my God. That's the teams right there, Yeah, man. intentional or not, it was a thing of beauty. And I'm sure it's going to make it into Mecco's highlight reel. Oh, yeah. See, that's what you're not doing right. <laughs> the Devil's God. The Devil's Mecos God. Comp uh, compilation video. <laughs> and see, this is something that the, uh, the red team is going to have to watch out for. Shield breaks and doubles can happen way more often than usual because a lot of people in doubles uh, stay in shield. Yep. I mean, it's just... It's kind of a safer option. There's so much things going on the, on the field. You don't want to get hit by anything straight, so you have your shield out a lot. And uh, Mr. E has been taking advantage of that. He's definitely been abusing some of those shields. He hasn't broken anything yet, but he's letting you know Absolutely. that he'll throw that out there. He'll put you on notice. And it is that comfy option when you're in, like, a tight pickle. But, you know, when you have a character that can just shield break, and then Mechos can get up there, and you know how powerful that Lucas up smash is. Oh, yeah. A lot of things can go wrong. An excellent tech, though, right there wow. from Starbase Fruit. But he's still not going to be able to come back. Mechos finally dropping that first stock with J.J. Rockets. The solo three stocker out there. Yeah, man, he couldn't get back in time right there. I mean, honestly, what happened was um, what, the way that Mr. E went back down there for that second up B. Uh, Starbase had to wait for that because he waited for that. He had to, you know, he, he up B way too late to get back to stage. This is looking extra good right here for the uh, blue team. However, not out of the red team's uh, favor at all. If they can get the stock off of Mr. E. They'll be right back into uh, an even game, pretty much. Oh, there you go. Ooh. Close. Down Hold it down safely. right here. There's a down throw. Let's get that free damage. Wow. Mr. E's control is a thing of beauty. I must compliment him on this. And I must compliment him on that neutral air. Got the tipper and everything. Yep. Almost finishing the stock. And so this is like this is where I, I feel like this is where Me uh, Mekos is doing a really good job. He's controlling a lot of the stage without even being there, uh, like, around. He is fires just such a fast projectile, managing to hit from deep. And he doesn't even have to be that close to get that punish any time Mr. E gets away. And it's just adding so much damage to the other team. Absolutely. He's he's easily the floor general of this of this team right now. Oh, yeah. And, you know, Mr. E doing a good job following suit. You know, sitting there. All right. Loses that stock, but still uh, the lead for them. Or not much of a lead right now. Pretty tied yeah, pretty, up, but pretty, still. I mean, pretty huge lead if he gets the stock right here. Yeah. I just said, I mean, he had him at 144. There's only one more hit that he needed to get off Starbase, uh, Starbase Fruit, and he got it with that upbeat. I'd have to say the momentum favoring them heavily here. At the same time, though, yeah, they could definitely get the stock off of Mekos and make this an even game. Uh, but look at look at the way that Mr. Mekos is playing back right here. So smart. He just realizing he doesn't want to get too far in uh, Mr. E's face, but he still wants to stay in that distance where if Mr. E gets hit away, he can uh, throw a PK fire and get that damage. Oops. Nice. That's actually a really good grab. Uh, yeah. Star based. Oh, and gets clipped with the forward smash, I believe. Yeah, chopping through uh, Mechos right there. Extended hitbox because he hit a shield. Ooh. Don't think he meant to do that, obviously, but, you know, going for the up air, most likely try to break that grab. Just kind of misspace and is uh, finishing Mechos. Now we have an even game here. Yeah, just like that, it's still, it is, you know, possible here. Obviously, red team stocks kind of maybe on borrowed time here. Yeah, it, it, at this point in time, it's pretty much who's going to lose that stock first and uh, and how. So, like, if it's a stock where you got to go deep for it and man, Mechos can come through and finish, there's a back throw, though. Sending him off stage. Mr. E going deep for it. He wanted that back air. And he's going to get it on second attempt. Yes. Good stuff right there, man. Keeping himself alive. And, uh, wow, Woo! the PK fire pickup on the left side, taking that stock. Good stuff to Mechos, keeping that damage extra low. And I think the funny, the weirdest thing about this team is that usually, I mean, like, there is no – uh, opportunity for Mekos to heal. So he just, you know, he had that much uh, percent not on him just by playing safe. You know what I mean? He doesn't, he can't do, he can't do the Tejada strat where he has someone to heal him the whole time. He just, boy just got to live. Yeah, 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 straight up. Straight Hard up. out here, man. Hard out here. Got to say that, say that percent. Say that, that money. That just goes, you know, to show his double prowess is, is as high as he touts. Like, guy is a phenomenal doubles player. Mystery, of course, no slouch. Um, but that was only game one, you know. We've seen, you know, many a game one go to the other team and then, you know, they don't always finish out that way. Oh, so yeah. We'll man. see what happens. <laughs> I mean, let's, let's wait till we get to game four, man. Let's just, if if we get to game four. Right. Game three, I feel like game three is almost always a turning point for uh, for a three out of five. It's like, yo, either, it's either game three 
and uh, you got 3 0 or game three and it's 2 1, and whoever's like got the one ball, that's about, most likely about to get it to game five. Anyway, in to game two here. PK freeze right off the bat, man. I, I thought that move was easier to break out of uh, until I got hit with it today at like 30. Yeah. Boy, I was mashing extra hard. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, man, this, this ice, uh, we in the Arctic? Like, what's, what's up? Man, I'm not playing around. Oh, all right, catching his partner right there. A bit of a misclick. Okay. Yeah, nice right there. Get the pickup as well and forcing Starbase to get away from that ledge as well. Oh, but Starbase said, man, I don't care if you about to break my shield. I'm still about to get this. Oh, you can. Starbase uh, coming down off that up smash to deliver. A little bit of a tornado right there. Like that, yeah, I mean, I'm saying he knew. Like, he knew that he had the time to get that right there. That was super nice uh, for Starbase. Getting that extra damage. Everyone catching the freeze right there, man. You a Batman villain? Like, Jesus. <laughs> so Schwarzenegger about to come out of nowhere. <laughs> I'm done. Yeah, that, movie, I'm, that villain was terrible. Anyway. I really was. <laughs> was that my Dr. Freeze? Jesus. Anyway. Okay. Oh, we're trying to catch him uh, on the side B, but the three a little too far behind. Oh, nice. I like that up B. Good, excellent job. And, uh, and Mr. E, you know, he doesn't really use that up B as sparingly, uh, especially at low percents. But I mean, you know, just his, he's got a pretty good accuracy, pretty good hit rate with them. I mean, it's a really good option now. I mean, like, I feel like I don't know it why is. we weren't using it before. Um, but uh, we, uh, we as in Marth players, even though like, I've always had it like a pocket Marth, but I didn't really see a lot of uh, Marth doing that. Before. Wow, that wow. was huge. That was huge. Oh my goodness, with Starbase retaliating in kind. Twice. Not going to allow this lead to build anything. Not going to let it snowball, just keeping it true, keeping it even. How you, how you get, how Mr. E get bounced off the club twice? <laughs> come on, man. <laughs> you can't come back next week doing the same stuff, man. Right? Here we go. Oh, nice. Wow, high pick up there from Echoes. Always aware. Oh, I like that back air too. Actually, getting him out of that situation with JJ Rockets. Yeah, got him. Got his part out of the situation. Didn't hit him and got a tipper as well. It's a lot of good stuff about that back air. But either way, JJ Rockets. Now keeping that. Uh, trying to put Mr. D off stage. Nice stuff right there. Nice pressure. Ooh, Mako's losing that stock a little earlier than uh, probably expected. Yeah, with his forward smash, but Starbase did not miss his. Ooh, good catch right there by Starbase, though. I need Mr. E to be careful here because he's actually lost a lot. Well, I was going to say he lost his first two stocks via an up B right there, but it's not going to be the case right there as he's able to eliminate Starbase Fruit from the equation, putting all the pressure right now on JJ Rockets. Yeah, and Starbase uh, Fruit just could not get back on stage uh, in time right there with that level of pressure that Mr. E was putting off on that uh, ledge. Here we go. We're going for it. The footstool, that and we just not even going to do nothing with that. <laughs> All right, I'm with that. He just want to know if he can still do it. The setup was That's real, it. though. Oh, wow. That's it. Connecting both hits. There's no way. There's no oh, my God. I'm forgot? done. Have you forgot about Deep Kong? I'm done. I don't want to play forget? this game anymore. I don't want to play this game. <laughs> Did you forget about Deep Kong? Still very much alive is JJ Rockets. Not trying to relinquish this and go down 0-2. Can't blame him here, but he is fighting an uphill battle right now. Jeez, man. I was that, that Kong. That Kong came straight from the Serengeti, man. That was one of those <laughs> Wizard of Oz Kongs right there, just flying monkeys. Oh, my God. Ooh, there we go. Up he throw, goes though. flying off the stage right there via an up throw. I can't believe he made that. I'm still, like, that was Tropical Rainforest Kong, man. He was that deep. <laughs> Jesus. Good stuff right there, man. I, I mean, I guess good stuff not giving up. But he was so low, I just did not expect him to be able to make that angle, like, all the way back there. But he was like, nah, man, what you mean? That was a little bit of a surprise, but hey. Yeah, his foot had to be touching the blast zone. Like, it had to be like, all right, man, we got <laughs> That was crazy. Either way, man, uh, as we said, the, the team of Mechos and Mr. E is kind of sailing over right now. Uh, Starbase Fruit and JJ Rocket. Starbase Fruit was making some good plays there with the uh, up -bees and whatnot, but just not enough for him to seal that deal. Yeah, he had some really good pickups there, uh, yeah. too. It was just, I really feel like, honestly, the difference maker is just Mechos. Like, we've seen multiple times. He's the last one to lose his final stock, uh, or get down to his last stock, I should say. And he's just really just running the show for the most part. So if you want to beat him, you got to beat Mechos. That's what, that's what I'm seeing right now. So see how game three goes. By the way, man, if you're here in the venue right here or you're at uh, at the uh, <laughs> at your hotel watching this, uh, you're a Smash Sister. Smash Sister is starting, so if you're trying to get in there, go ahead and get in there. Anyway, game three, Smashville. Pop. Uh, they just keep running it back right here. Honestly, I feel like a, a change of scenery might have helped them out a little bit, but if you really uh, feel like you're – 
You'll take this game here. Oh, there's the oh, shield break. The Should shield be able to save there. him, though. Ah, not gonna. He had to let that one up go a little faster uh, because he saw the looming threat of JJ Rockets coming through. And I saw Mr. E actually try to uh, get JJ Rockets away from there. Super smart. Yeah, that situation was just, you know, all about getting some free damage right there. And it got quite a bit, for sure. Oh, I like that down there. Coming through Mr. E, fearless, and a good up smash kind of covered that roll as well. Nice. There and it that is. That goes with the pickup on the up smash. In the middle of heated all, battle. All too. that chaos, man. All that chaos. Not worried about a thing. Oh, man. Mako's right here. Well, pressure. I mean, even though he just hit him, it should be fine. I mean, this is and he does have a, a beautiful recovery right there with Lucas. Both of them trying to get back on stage. They're trying to get these shield breaks to cover himself with the. Up B, and no one there to punish at all. All right. You know that they're taking their time right here, and I love that. Just reversing back to get the shield breaker. Mr. E just nice. fearless off this ledge right here, connecting that tipper back air. That was super nice right there, man. Knew he didn't even need the jump for that. He just let go of that ledge and let the top uh, side of that back air say, oh, but get again, man. Just stay getting bounced. Like, <laughs> hey, man. He's just trying to see what's up, man. His favorite DJ playing tonight. Still can't go in there. Struggle Big damage on that shield, though. That was definitely real right here. Yet again, we see Blue Team is assuming all this stage control right here. Mechos just trying to bombard them with an assortment of projectiles. Working out big, and Mr. E coming through. All of that right side of the stage completely covered. All him. All him right there. Mechos is trying to get back on stage right there. Managed to do it. But while that was happening, Mr. E was like, well, I, I guess I can take a couple stocks. Oh, and no, not kicked. the way you want he to kicked. lose your stock. Ironically kicked himself out of this match here. About to kick himself out of this tournament as well with right. a kick like that. Oh, I thought he was going to spike. He thought about it. He thought about it. Like the footstool was there for the, like the footstool down there. And he was like, you know what, never mind. Maybe, uh, we, we're, trying to, we're trying to finish the style. I feel like they're, they're going to go for this grab thing. Yeah, I think they managed to get it. Yeah, I think the, the thing that's really bitten uh, JJ Rockets here and Starbase Fruit was the fact that they weren't willing to switch stages. Like, they were just content to just keep going back to Smashville. Was that a, was that a tipper with the backside of down smash? Let's go. It looked like it. Yeah, send them straight up. Yeah. So. But either way, man, yeah, they. I feel like they sh uh, definitely should have tried to switch the scenery a little bit. Maybe uh, getting some platforms in the situation would have helped. Or maybe just getting, getting rid of the Smashville platform could have helped. But just running it back three times, and uh, none of those games not looking too uh, well into your favor. Yeah. I don't know, man. Uh, that's, that's a hard thing to – hard thing to swallow. I mean, I know sometimes the salt is there, and you're like, man, you know what? We could beat these guys. Run it back. You can beat those guys, but still on a different stage. Yeah. Still and that game three stage. was really nothing pretty. Mekos and uh, Mr. E, no doubt they were going to win that one. So I think they're going to advance to face Nick Riddle and Dath. Yeah. I, think we, I guess we had that played off stream right there. So Nick Riddle and Dath uh, moving on. And we're, yeah, I just heard Marv, so I'm pretty sure that Mr. E and Mekos are staying. Yeah. Uh, once true. again, you guys are watching now what is top four. Yeah, top four. Shine 2016 here in Boston, Massachusetts, where uh, everything is beautiful. I'm telling you, man, <laughs> Jesus. the scenery, the <laughs> weather, the food, like the people, everything is just, oh my goodness. I, and like they say Boston's a nightmare in the wintertime. That's cool, man. I'm a spring and summer guy anyway. Yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll come back. You know, we'll, we'll migrate to the south for the winter. But uh, And big shouts to the venue itself. Matt oh, yeah. has done a phenomenal job picking this venue. A air conditioned, okay, carpeted, plenty of space. Setups for friendlies, private setups for the players to warm up in the back. I mean, this is the tournament that people talk about doing, but he's actually done it. Yeah. So, so I mean, when Shine 2017 